like getting your pilot's license? At Ocala Aviation, they make it fun and easy, and you can start by taking one of their discovery flights. For only $99, you get to go up in the airplane with an FAA-certified flight instructor and actually fly the plane yourself. It's a perfect way to see if flying is for you. And once you get that ultimate feeling of freedom, Ocala Aviation can train you to get your pilot's license. Ocala Aviation also offers commercial flight training for those looking to make a career change and enter the world of commercial aviation. Ocala Aviation is conveniently located at the Ocala International Airport. So if you're ready to start your adventure, stop by or give them a call today. 861-7484. That's 861-7484. You'll be glad you did. I know I am. Ocala Aviation. Call today. 861-7484. Five minutes after 11 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in this Wednesday. This is our travel half hour. Uh, in the second half of this half hour, uh, Anthony James will be here. He is our travel expert. But in the first half hour, Robin McBlain is here. And the reason this is important for Robin to kind of... Uh, be the star of this 15 minutes a star is because <laughs> is because robin worked at six gun territory for how many years oh gosh i think it's been five years yeah you, you were there for five years yeah and you worked not as a can can girl which everybody, no. everybody always guesses that's what you did but you worked in accounting right yes accounting and marketing and did payroll and your brother also worked there Yep. And what was your brother's job? Uh, he played the uh, drums when when uh, they they uh, needed him in the palace saloon, and then he also was a maintenance guy. He uh, rode the tractor, mowed the grass. He uh, checked out the mouse ride that was there, you know, and tried to repair it when it needed it, which was a few times, and <laughs> you know, did grunt work. And he just had the uh, had the best time ever. And then him and the uh, uh, three other guys would put their barbershop uh, uh, coats on with their straw hats and they would walk up and down the street and they'd play barbershop music and stuff like that. So he did a variety nice. of stuff. All right, now the reason for pe pe people who are wondering why we're talking about what you did and what your brother did at Six Gun Territory is because there's a Six Gun ter Territory reunion yep. that is happening. If any of you out there ever worked at Six Gun Territory or you know somebody who did, spread mm -hmm. the word. It's going to be at the Kirby Family Farm in Williston. Yep. Which is, the, the, and they have a train over there, and this topic came up because I said to you, is the Kirby tra Family Farm train the same train that the Six Gun Territory had? And you looked it up and you said no. Right, right, because I talked to the organizers of the event and they said no. Okay, so tell me about the event. So when, when, and, and what do we need to know about the event? I think it's September 12th and 13th. I can look it up if you don't know it. <laughs> of 2015. I'm looking it up on your site. It's, it's, it's a uh, Saturday and Sunday. It's a family affair. Uh, everybody's welcome to come out, even yeah, if is. you haven't uh, worked there. Everybody's welcome to come out. They're going to have... Uh, Native American uh, music and dancers. They're going to have gunfighters. They're going to have train robberies. They're going to have gunfights. They're going to have can can girls. They're going to have music. Uh, there's going to be a ton of memor of memorabilia there. Uh, Daryl Kirby, the owner of the farm, was able to get one of the stagecoaches on loan. Uh, from uh, oh, really? from from somebody that was used at Six Gun. My brother has two of the armrests from the Gaslight and Velvet Dinner Theater train what? that he's bringing. How did he get the armrests? Well, he he has them. <laughs> uh, he also has a big Six Gun Territory sign he's bringing down. There are a few other people that are bringing their memorabilia down. And so everything's going to be on display. Everything will be on loan, so they won't be sold or anything. To, you know, to collectors. Wow. It, it's all on loan. Uh, Daryl Kirby will have all of the locations of the trains from Six Gun Territory and the other three parks as to where they're resting at right now. It's going to be just a lot of fun. There are going to be craft vendors there, food vendors, all day Saturday, all day Sunday. They'll have a whole program of events both days. And then if you were an employee of Six Gun Territory, Friday night will be a, a meet and greet there just to have fun and just to reminisce. And wow. It's going to be a cool, cool event. So I, I know you're excited because you work there. So are you looking forward to meeting some of the people you worked with way yeah, back yeah. when? Yeah, Scott Proctor is one of the guys. I know. He's, he's, uh, he's uh, coming, gunfighter. Uh, are yeah. you sure he's coming? Uh, his name's on the um, reunion roster. So I feel... S 
he he signed up for it, whether See, he actually to, has time to come I, or not. I, I, I don't know. I always loved the fact that he was one of the gunfighters, and when he yeah. used to come on to talk to us about his air conditioning business, mm -hmm. I would always ask him about it. And then at one point, he said, "Please stop asking me about six guns." So I said, "Oh, yeah. okay." I didn't realize <laughs> it's just such a cool thing to me. It is. It's very cool. All right, let's go to the phone. It's very cool. Good morning. You're on the air. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, stamp out hunger. Sam about hunger. Yes. Yep. <laughs> yeah. This this coming Saturday, um, if uh, people would put out a small package of non-perishable food out at their mailbox, it will be picked up by their mail carrier, uh, and it will later be distributed to the area food banks. Uh, yes. This is a this is a big uh, spring yeah. food drive <coughs> for Marion County. Yeah, and and you're the guy. You're the go-to guy. Get on board and Morning. <laughs> and uh, we did post it from some uh, uh, facts and figures about the stamp out hunger uh, from last year, about how many tons of food were collected, how Marion County, out of the entire nation, was the uh, came in first place with collecting the most food. It's pretty amazing. Hmm. All right, yep, thank you, thank you, Jim. County citizens are very generous. Yeah, they are, and you guys are awesome. And even in retirement, Jim is still doing this. Oh yes, he is. He Th is dedicated. Thank you, Jim. Appreciate that. Okay, Jim. have a good morning. And we'll ca we'll continue to keep mentioning it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So back to the six gun. So the six gun territory reunion is September twelfth and thirteenth. Yep. You said it's not just for six gun territory employees; it's for everybody. Exactly. Are they going to have like an an old? Uh, what do you call it? ghost town facade or like the buildings or the front of the buildings? That I'm not sure of. They're working on that kind of a stuff. But they are going to have gunfights. They are going to have can-can girls. They are going to have Native Americans dancing. So they'll have, you know, different sections where thing and, and they're even going to have train robberies. So if you're on the train, be prepared. <laughs> well, that'd be cool. It'll be a lot of cool. I don't know if, if, if they're actually going to have building facades or not. Right. right, uh, right. They finally found a, uh, uh Honky tonk piano player. I found out last night because my my uh, brother called and he's on, he's one one of the guys on the organizing committee. And Jack Spalick was the honky tonk piano player at the Six Gun Territory, and he has uh, passed away. And nobody could play honky tonk piano like Jack. He was amazing. So they put out this search for a honky tonk piano player. And last night, ironically, they, they found, found one? one. Yeah. Wow. And let's see who Do else. Do you know played? where they found him or her? Uh, no, I, it's, it's, it's a fella. But then uh, uh, Billy, I can't remember his last name, but he was one of the Royal Guardsmen. And he would sit in sometimes for Jack when uh, Jack took a day off oh really yeah billy uh gosh i'm sorry billy i can't remember your last name but he sat in and, and played the piano for uh, jack when jack took a day off because the park was open seven days a week and you know you had to have a day off somewhere in there and i can't recall the name of the fellow that that they found too it's it, it's on their site i can't remember it to do the billy, actual billy honky tonk billy taylor i looked i just looked yeah it that's it billy taylor yep so, I mean, you know, Six Gun has a lot of history. There's a lot of people in our community that have been a part of it. And uh, Bridget Bartlett, she's passed on, but she was, you know, the award-winning costume designer all over the world. She designed costumes for her, but she designed it for all of the Six Gun parks. And uh, her costumes are absolutely phenomenal. Ben Rossi had headed up the talent. Uh, Ken James, he's passed away. He died early at the age of 51, I believe. And he was the master of ceremonies, and he huh. sang and everything. And and it was, it's, it's going to be a fun uh, fun time. You know what you should do? I mean, you, you did a poem about Six Gun Territory, remember? Oh, yeah, for the Ocala Hilton, we were asked to do one. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I got Rosemere Farm and Six Gun mixed up. Yeah, that's right. We did. You we did a poem for Rosemere Farm? Uh, that that was for um, the Hilton. I forgot. We were talking about that, that last was a coloring week, book, and right? I forgot. Well, we did a coloring book, too. Oh, and you did a poem. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But you did a poem for Six Gun Territory. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. <laughs> you should submit <laughs> it to it. I'm going to do it for you. I'm I gonna forgot. Do it. I'm going to do it on your behalf. I have to find it now. <laughs> I forgot about that. See all the things that you and I do? I mean, it's just like, okay. <laughs> I thought, when did I do that? You did a poem. I'm going to look yeah, it up. And do you wrote the music. Ah. <laughs> Why do you say that? There's no because music. To it. I, 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 no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> There's some kind of. There, now there I is, remember. Okay. Okay. 
anyway this is going to be a super super cool reunion bring you know the children uh, they'll be able to to actually talk to people that are living history from six gun territory the heart of six gun is what you called it there you, you got go. 2089 views and 10 likes wow <laughs> here 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 it is here's, here's the poem robin wrote here here this is the poem <laughs> that's the music i did <laughs> Little Thank boys you. dream of heroes that one day they will be one. No fancy capes, no flying machines, just whimsical thoughts of the magic of cowboy dreams. Little girls dream of being on the stage, singing and dancing in costumes they play. Audiences cheer and applaud with zeal, just whimsical thoughts of the magic of dreams that one day they know will be real. Walking the streets of an old cowboy town, bank robbers, stagecoach drivers, Indians abound. Grown-ups playing in this make-believe world, putting smiles on faces of all boys and girls. Gunfighters pass the tourists with a tip of the hat and a nod and a smile, never getting out of character, recreating the dreams of their inner child. Honky-tonk piano player playing his tunes deep in the heart of the palace saloon. In gaslight and on velvet, the upper echelon dine, while being entertained by the dances of can-can girls and plume-hatted singers whose voices shine. An old steam engine is roaring its way on the track, adult passengers looking out, going back to their past, to a world where their childhood dreams come alive, sharing the dreams of their own child, reflected in their child's dream-filled eyes. Such is the magic of cowboy dreams, where everything is real, never what it seems. Deep in the heart of Six Gun is where dreams are dreamed. Nice. That was nice, Robert. <laughs> I Robin. forgot about that. That was so nice. <laughs> well, thank you. Wow. All right. All right we'll, we'll take, Make me cry. We'll take a little break, and, uh, and we'll be right back. This is The Source, WOCA Ocala. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident for today. Intervals of clouds and sunshine. There'll be a shower and thunderstorm or two around the high 79 to 83. Partly to mostly cloudy skies tonight, the low 60 well inland, but about 66 along the coast. Rather breezy at the coast as well. For tomorrow, partly sunny skies, the high 83 at the coast, 89 inland. For Friday, partly sunny with a chance for a shower high 87 to 91. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Cookies, 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 cookies. Wait, when you cookies, want something cookies, special cookies. and fun for any occasion, get cookies. That's right. The Great American Cookie Company in the Paddock Mall Ocala will make a delicious, fun-filled delight just for you. You might notice that I said fun and delicious more than once. That's because I can't say it enough. The next time you're at the mall, be sure and stop by or call 352-237-2557 to place your order. Cookies, cookies, Yum. cookies, cookies. We go cookie eating cookies. The Great American Cookie Company. That was the sound of a tree falling. It could be your tree. You're going to have it trimmed, but never got around to calling Pride Tree Service. It could have fallen in a field, and now all you have to do is call Pride Tree Service, and they'll have it quickly out of the way for a great price. But don't wait until the tree falls. It may not fall in the field. It may hit your car, your house, or worse. So call Pride Tree Service today and avoid all those headaches before they happen. Pride Tree Service, 840-0750. That's 840-0750. Wow, I can't believe what I'm seeing. Who did this? PB Tiki's and more, of course. Now I have a Tiki Hut for shade, and I can enjoy the sounds of my cascading fountain while feeding my koi fish in my own pond. To even fix my fence and redid all my landscaping. Nice to see a professional, reliable, family-owned business. Yes, PB Tiki's is the natural Florida Tiki builder and water features designer. With free estimates, PB Tiki's is licensed and insured. Call 352-877-3307 for your very own Tiki Hut and more. That's 352-877-3307. PB Tiki's. So you need a credit card, but how do you choose? Let's compare the big banks to Florida Credit Union. They have rewards, and we do too. They have customer service. Hello, 24-7. They have celebrities. Hey, Danny. But with Florida Credit Union, there's no annual fee, no liability for fraudulent charges, and no 22% interest rates. Choose Florida Credit Union, and you'll not only have a great credit card, but you'll have the support and personal touch that the big banks, well, can't touch. Florida Credit Union, connecting your money to your life. Federally insured by the NCUA. 
Hey, Matt. I know Sunrise Automotive does auto stuff, but I need some tires for my truck. Can you recommend someone? Uh, yes, I can. We do that. No, I mean, I need them installed and balanced and all that. Yep, yep, we do that. Well, my son needed his windows tinted. Yep, we, we do that. I need too. my seat replaced. Yep, yep, we do that, too. I need a new roof line, a new spoiler, and a new yep, truck. Yep, we can even do that, too. Okay, okay, I get it. I suppose you can also do a radio show, too, huh? Well, as a matter of fact, join me every Monday at 10 for auto repair with personal care here on The Source. Of course you do. All right, 19 minutes after 11 o'clock, Anthony James is not able to be here today, so we're going to continue with two things. I wanted to just say one more thing about uh, the Six Gun Territory reunion, and um, I don't know what it was now. You, you were telling me you're going to be, you're going to be there, and uh, oh, we, we want to do a video. That's what yeah, you said. Yeah, we want to do a video, and it's a three-day affair, and people are, are, going to, are booking their rooms now. They're, you know, people are coming in from out of state. And where... And, uh, is it? It's in Williston, right? But where yeah. is the uh, where is the Kirby Family Farm? I don't know the address. Okay. I don't know the address. Well, let me look it up. Okay. I can do that. Okay, that would be great. <laughs> but Daryl Kirby has been so nice to everybody, and uh, it's it's just really going to be a wonderful wonderfully fun event a lot of different crafts vendors will be there also so you know you might find gifts for christmas there when you go there too you never know because christmas is coming isn't it interesting how the the people who were in the, the six gun family are are kind of like celebrities because of that association Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know? Well, everybody felt like a family there. Everybody gave 100%. Like, sometimes when the people that worked the Palace Saloon uh, were ill, you know, they, they came up to the office. And I would work in there, you know, serving drinks and, and food and stuff like that. I mean, we, we just kind of pitched in and helped right. where everything was needed. And it was so, so great. All right. So, the Kirby Family Farm. I don't know the address, but I have the website. It's kirbyfarm.com. Oh, okay. K-I-R-B-Y. Kirbyfarm.com. Yeah. They probably have directions. But it'll be really, really fun. So. And you know that, that young guy, Alex... Um, oh, gosh. What is Alex's last name? Oh, uh, I don't remember. But he does films. He does, he does films. In, he did yeah. a, he did a special... Hinojoso? Hinojoso? No. No, not that, Alex. Oh, okay. No. But the young guy, the young guy. Oh, I don't remember his name. Oh, it's uh, it's Moy, Alex Moy. Yeah, hey, uh, Dan, put give it to me. I pulled my head fat. Uh, hold on, so. Oh, it says Six Gun Territory reunion. Likes your link on the timeline, Robin McBlair. Who? It's, it's, <laughs> hold on, you got to talk. <laughs> we have a phone call. <laughs> no, no, we. Can't. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thing. My head's like came apart. But right. no, it's, it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. All right. So anyway, the young boy, the filmmaker, the very talented young guy who makes okay. films. Oh, he's boy, like okay. a high school student or something, right? Yes, right. Is he high school, Dan? High school still about, or maybe young college age? Mm-hmm. But anyway, he makes these really incredible films. I was watching some on his site, and he made one over at Six Gun. Oh. And not at Six Gun, but at, at, the, at Kirby. the Kirby Farm. Yeah, at the Kirby Farm. Yeah. Yeah, he's way too young for Six Gun. Yeah. <laughs> All right. He wasn't even in the womb. Then. Right, yeah. <laughs> His parents probably weren't even born then. An- another organization that we have been close to for years is ARC. And, yes. uh, and ARC is headed up now by, uh, by Troy Strada. Troy is another friend who goes back years and years. Yeah, you and him have decades for history. Mus- in music. In music, but yeah. He's, but he's a biker and uh, yeah. a motorcycle guy, and he's also the head of ARC. And for those of you who know our friend Doug, Doug Smith, who is um, a Down syndrome person, he actually had a lot of his early training for, for, for work mm-hmm. over at ARC when, when he was much younger. And in those days, it was um, not Troy. Who was the, the lady? I can't remember. Uh, Needham. Yeah, Nell no, Needham. Nell Needham. Yeah, yeah. this is Needham. Mir- Miriam's mom. Right, right. Miriam's mom, <clears throat> Nell ne- Needham. She and, was the founder. And Nell has passed away, but... But anyway, they do an unbelievable job over there. If you, if you think about what uh, the life, what life is like for somebody who has um, Down syndrome or, or any other condition, or maybe autism, you, you realize that their life is, is very challenged, which is, which is an obvious thing, okay? Mm-hmm. But it's, it's, it's add to the challenge the fact that nobody will hire them because they're afraid they won't be a good worker. But the exact opposite is true. They are mm-hmm. extremely good workers. And the way they get their skills, and I don't know if the work ethic comes from ARC, but their skills come from ARC. I think the work ethics are just something that's born in them. I think so, I don't, too. I don't yeah. know. But anyway, so ARC is the organization here in, in our community that helps them. 
that helps them with this. And whenever you have an organization that just outright helps people, you know a couple of things. First of all, you know that the people running it and working for it have to have be special kinds of people. Mm-hmm. It's, it doesn't take... Everybody can't do this, okay? You also know that there's probably always going to be a need for money. And that's why there are fundraisers. And whenever there's a fundraiser that's also a fun event... Like, for example, the Kiss the Horse with the Literacy Council. Like, for yeah. example, some of the things that United Way does. Like, for example, some of the things the other nonprofits do. Well, ARC has the Bike Fest. And, and you know why? It's because of Troy. Because, mm-hmm. because Troy is a biker. He's a drummer. No, yes. he's a bass player. He's a bass player, yeah. But he's a drummer. See, I first knew him as a drummer. Mm-hmm. And then, and then later on, I realized that bass was his was his real love. Okay, yeah. but he was really awesome on the drums too. So yes, I, and he's into the blues. He likes the blues music, and he does it really well. And he rides a bike. And so the second annual Ocala Bike Fest is happening, and you could. Um, Harley or Indian, choose your ride. You could win one of these, right? That is so cool. So for a $100 donation, I guess that would be like a raffle ticket. They're only selling 599 tickets. Uh-huh. So at $100 a piece, you could win a Harley Davidson or an Indian. Isn't that cool? I, I, I'm not a bike guy, so I don't even know what an Indian is. Indian's making a comeback. This is the first That's year. That's actually the said. brand name, Indian? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, is that the full name, Indian? Indian. I think it's Indian. Right now, I Indian. think they were around before Harley's. If oh, I really? Remember. Weren't they from England, something like that? I don't know. It's a nice looking bike, though. Yeah, well, it's really, that's, people are going to Indians now. It's a 2015 Harley Davidson Street Glide or a 2015 Indian Chief Vintage. Mm-hmm. You could nice. win one of those two bikes if you make a $100 donation and then you get a raffle ticket. You'll be one of, you'll have a one in 599 chance of winning. Wow. Well, Troy's already bought his, so it's really one in six hundred. <laughs> no, it's, it's no, it's one in five ninety eight. One in five ninety eight. Take a number away. Oh, don't add right. a number. <laughs> anyway, uh, you will purchase tickets. Uh, let's see. The event is happening. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Let me tell you when this is. Friday. On May 29th. Friday, May 29th. Okay. At the, the kickoff is at Harley Davidson of Ocala. The vendors and the DJ start at 11 a.m. There's live music from 3 p.m. till 7 p.m. I wonder who's playing. <laughs> Keith Caden, Troy Strotter, and the Blues Busters. Yeah. <laughs> of uh, course. Food is by Mojo and uh, this beer as well. Uh, Saturday, May 30th, the poker run begins at Ocala Indian, mm-hmm. which, which uh, Ride Now Power Sports. Okay. Right now, power sports. Uh, the poker run and much, much more. The sign up starts at ten at at ten thirty a.m. The last uh, the last is out at noon. It's fifteen dollars for the first hand, five dollars for each additional hand, and the run ends at Arc Marion at twenty eight hundred Southeast Merrick Camp Road, where you will find vendors, bike games, uh, the fifty fifty drawing, the silent auction, live music block by. Here we go, the Blues Busters. That's Troy's band. And That's Ke- right, and Keith's Troy band. and Keith. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there's other guys. Just those are the only two we know. R- <laughs> yeah, Rusted Steel is another band. Landslide and others. There's a barbecue cook-off featuring the best new and existing barbecue restaurants and food trucks. Mm-hmm. Taste the best of Ocala. The Ocala Bike Fest sounds like a lot of fun. So it's Friday, May 29th, the kickoff. Saturday, May 30th is the big party, it sounds like, in the poker run. And they usually have the big pig in front of Arc, too. No. When they do. Oh, they no? Did, they did, but somebody stole it or something, remember? Oh, the that's right. The inflatable pig. Yeah, that's right. The or it got repossessed pig pig. or something. Yeah, that's right. I forgot. The drawing for the brand new Harley Davidson Street Glide or the Indian Chief Vintage will also be on Saturday. So that's when you find out if you won. Let me give you the website so you can look up this and, and get more information. It is OcalaBikeFest.com. MCARC.com is another ad- uh, website you can go to. There's a phone number. It's 352-387-2210. WOCA, proud to be a sponsor of this event. Um, so call us if you need any of this repeated, and I trust that this is already on our Facebook page. Yep. Uh, so you can, purchase, you can purchase tickets at, um, at ARC. You can also do the, the websites I just told you about to purchase the tickets. Mm-hmm. Um, and, of course, all the proceeds benefit ARC Marion. which And that's why I started out telling you about the great work they do. Because if you don't know, you know, sometimes it, it helps to know what you're, what you're assisting in the fundraising for. Oh, yeah. You know, and let me tell you something. 
uh, Troy has such a great heart for this. He's the perfect guy for this work. If you, if he's, if you get him to talk to you about some of the clients, some of the success stories, some of the work that they've been doing, he'll tell you stories. Uh, I'll tell you one that comes to mind. He told us a story of a, of a young woman who had some kind of a, a mental challenge. Right. Right. And right. she got a job. Mm-hmm. And she had no vehicle but a bicycle. Yes. And she would ride that bicycle to work every single day. It didn't matter if it was cold, because it does get cold here in the winter. Mm-hmm. It didn't matter if the time hadn't changed yet and it was still really dark in the morning. Right. It didn't matter if it was raining. She would be at the job on time. That's what I'm trying to tell you when I say the work ethic. But the skills that she learned to be able to do that job, I don't know what she did. I think she was filing in, at an office yeah, or something. Yeah, she was filing. She was so right but on But she'd time. be there every day. And we know from, from our friend Doug that there, there, there's nobody who wants to work more than Doug does. So mm-hmm. he's constantly asking, is there a job? Is there a job? Is there a job? Yep. Uh, so anyway, Help Out Arc. They do some amazing things. It's, it's an honor to say we know some of them over there. Yes, and we knew the founder, Nell Needham. She was, wow, she found a need and she met it. And uh, amazing place, Ark. A lot of years. Some amazing people are nurses. Today's National Nurses Day. Yay! When we come back and have fun with Joe, I have the quiz, the test, not a quiz, the test Mm -hmm. that a nurse's aide has to pass in order to become a nurse's aide. We'll be right back. Fox News Radio, I'm Pat O'Neill. Baltimore Mayor Stephanie Rawlings-Blake has asked the Justice Department to investigate the city's police force. I'm asking the Department of Justice to investigate if our police department has engaged in a pattern or practice of stops, searches, or arrests that violate the Fourth Amendment. That follows the indictment of six officers linked with the death last month of a black man while in police custody. French officials say Andreas Lubitz, the man who deliberately crashed a German wing's plane into the Alps in March, practiced gradual descents in the plane previous flight. Investigator Remy Jouty saying Lubitz entered that fatal 100-foot setting five times on the plane's previous flight a few hours earlier, while the captain was out of the cockpit. Fox Radio's Simon Owen. A train carrying crude oil has derailed in Heimdall, North Dakota. Officials say five cars are on fire, but no injuries reported. Fox News, we report, you decide. Napa Auto Parts, we got your car covered, front to back, left to right. So whether you're looking for a driver's side window motor or a glove box light bulb, you can easily get what you need. Just go to NapaOnline.com, reserve it now, and pick it up in store later. Check it out now, and we'll stop messing with your speakers. Or maybe not. Conquer the job with Napa Know How at participating Napa Auto Parts stores. Every business trip starts with a choice. Stay or go. You can press send or press palms. Start a chat room or chat in an actual room. Just remember, this country wasn't built by folks waiting for opportunities to come to them. They went to their people and things got done. And if you're one of those business people, there's a range of choice hotels like Comfort Inn for every type of business trip. Should I stay or should I go? You always have a choice. Book now at choicehotels.com. Are you wasting hundreds or thousands of dollars on termite retreat fees? If you're not with Turner Pay-